Hello everyone, this is Man in the Black Hat, and we're back for more Let's Play Fable 3. Oh, for those of you who missed the live play on Thursday, don't worry, so did I, because I was feeling all ucky. I pretty much was napping throughout the day and coughing up phlegm and generally feeling feeling very miserable. Not today though. Today was my first day of National Guard drill for the month. And unfortunately, it was also my last ah, yes. day of National Guard drill for the month. Oh, got ah. these guys. <laughs> ah, yes, she is. We were just talking about you. Indeed, we have made a toast to your stupendous feat in ridding Miss Peak of Saker and his men. They have been a source of great distress for some time. Nobody will be more pleased than Sabine. His dwellers might find some peace now. Of course. Nobody has suffered more than they. I've been telling Samuel here about the terrible situation they're in. He thinks he may be able to help. Uh, yes, well, uh, perhaps. I, I mean, of course. Uh, the thing is, as I was just explaining to Sir Walter, uh, Brightwall has no overabundance of resources itself. The King's levies are rather steep, and we face shortages more often than is comfortable. But? But, were you to improve things around Brightwall, the people would be most grateful. And when people are grateful, they're also charitable. I'm sure they would find it in their hearts to send aid to those poor people. There you have it. The way I see it. You will need all the followers you can get if you're going to lead a successful rebellion. What better time to start? I heartily agree with Sir Walter. Pardon me for overhearing. As it happens, I've learned of a promising method for amassing followers. If you'll return to the sanctuary at your earliest convenience, I can show you what I mean. Be sure to find something special for that. An excellent okay. way to gain followers is by Anyways, helping villagers in need. Due to my own Brightwall and I will stupidity. You can now see the villagers in need. And yes, you can also see he's just giving you the lowdown on quest. to impress Samuel and the people. You have to get thirty more guild seals. By doing so, you will gain to the gather enough. There's actually the enough quests that you can get thirty plus, <laughs> and that's just from the rewards. <laughs> that's not counting any um combat bonuses you get by completing quests for those in but anyways today we, your abilities and we were moving things around power. with a forklift and dumb old me decided Very that nice. my foot in the way of the forklift wheel like would probably be a good idea well guess what it wasn't and they cannot fail to become your support <sighs> Okay. That appears to be all of now the you're going to see me switch out some things. The armory is at your disposal. We're not going to go after the hero pistol or rifle. We're going to switch to the marksman 500, which is superior to Gusket's musket. In case you're wondering, yes, that was Pepsi. And the only reason I'm not sharing is because you're not here. Inquisitor, right now, is pretty much the best sword in the game. I will replace it later on with a better sword. Some of the bonuses for the Inquisitor are beneficial to get, but most of them are not. Anyways, I got my foot ran over by a forklift. And I spent the morning in the emergency room. Now, don't worry, nothing got broken, but still. Oh, this is terrible. Somehow, the gate got open, and all of my chickens have escaped. I don't know how they did it, those chickens. And maybe I never will. Chickens are extraordinarily clever. Will you find the buggers for me? 
Okay, we're going to accept right. this. You'll and... need this. Contrary to what most people think, chickens are very, very crafty. Wait. They won't fall for any of that. What? Come here, chicky, chicky. I've got some lovely treats for you. Oh, no. Too smart. You have to defeat them <clears throat> psychologically. No. They won't remain one concentrated force. They'll have redeployed into groups of three or so to maximize their tactical advantage. When you find one of these squads, flap your wings and such, and they should follow you back here. But don't let them try to negotiate with you. You do not want those little buggers inside your head, believe me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've a new suit in your wardrobe, a new feathery suit. Okay, we are going to save this hard made outfit. Yay! Easily selected later. I need to get her a new hair. Okay. Chicken, what are you what are you what are you planning to do dressed as a chicken? I have to agree with Jasper on that one. I look freaking ridiculous. Anyways, as I said, nothing got broken, but I pretty much got told, you know what, you're not going to be doing drill anymore for a while. So, my loyal fans, you will see me here pretty steadily for the next two months, give or take. The chickens here are easy to find. One chicken right in your path, another over here, and the third is in the town square. So, oh look, dig spot. And yes, I'm okay, it just hurts to walk. Ooh, health potion. Nice. Another health potion I don't have to pay for. <laughs> Ooh, another dig spot. On the plus side, I don't feel like warmed over feces anymore. So, I will be doing Let's Plays on schedule again, and the live plays, assuming I don't get knocked out again like I did last time, the live plays will be resuming at their normal schedule uh, next Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific. So if you guys feel that 8 p.m. is a little late, we can switch it over to 6 p.m. and that'll be just fine. It's 6 p.m. for me, not for you. Unless you live in the West Coast. So it'll be a little earlier for you folks that need to get up in the morning. That's all of them. At last, the town can rest easy. Oh, Bernard, you've got to lock them up again. This isn't right. They deserve to be free. You're always on about the chickens and their freedom. You know what I think? I think it was you who let him out. You're right. I admit it. I couldn't live with myself any longer being complicit in this chicken oppression. But they might have destroyed the entire town. Possibly the world. They might have gone off to live peacefully on their own. They might have created great works of art or literature. We don't know. And we have no right to take away their fundamental liberties based on our own prejudices. Well... Now it's clear taking away their liberties isn't enough. I have to assume you'll try to facilitate another escape. And that means the only choice is to kill them all. Oh, no, Bernard, no, don't. All right, keep them locked up, at least so we can talk about this. I you, wish you guys you, could see my face, because these people are... You know them better than anyone. Making me have a What's WTF the face it's all over the place. Of kill or be kill. All right. We'll let them live. But only if you swear never to let them out again. All right. All right. We'll work this out. 
I hope I haven't made a terrible mistake. But if I killed them, I would just make them martyrs. Fortunately, there's a lot of entertaining quests like that with pretty whacked people. <sighs> oh, I just now, I've got the chicken trophy, like and I can get rid of this stupid chicken suit. Hmm. Ah, hello. Oh, jam my finger. Oh, that hurt. I trust you are finding everything all right. Ow. I did wonder if you'd go back to that one. Yeah, Jasper, I was kind of wondering too, because that was taking a while. It's the right thing to do. Okay, I am loading. I am loading. Blinding road to rule much? Ugh. Anyways. Uh. Damn. Can't open it. Really use that. Oops. Wrong button. Okay, for some reason I didn't get the ten guild seals I was expecting, so back to the loading screen. Uh. Oh, I just Ow. don't know about this. It's what's best, Bernard. It's the right thing to do. I wish I could believe that. I really do. Now we just have to figure out a compromise. Compromised enough? We need to figure out a way the chickens can get the most out of their lives. Okay. Well, those two discuss a future quest chain. I'm going to come over here and grab another key. Yay, silver key. Yay, we have enough for the five chests. I think it's like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. For how many keys are needed for each chest. Well, except for the one that's got one. Ugh. Anyways, there's a few more quests. I'm going to take two that can be pretty much chained one right to the other. And then I will take the last one because this gives me more guild seals to work with. Whoa, wrong way. Gives me more guild seals to work with. So, um. Oh, speaking of crackpots. Oh, hello. Mmm, lovely, aren't they? I've collected gnomes since I was a lad. My family said it was unhealthy, it made me take stock of my life. And I realized I had to make a change. So, I cut off all contact with them. <laughs> now it's just me and the gnomes. They're my best friends. Especially Jonathan. He's like a brother. I, I would actually die for him. It's his birthday today, you know. I ordered a special present for him and everything. But it, it, it never got here, unfortunately. But you, you couldn't find out what happened to it for me, could you? Great, great. Now... This package, like I said, it's very special. I ordered it from a catalogue. It was very expensive, but then this is Jonathan we're talking about. He deserves only the best. Now, according to the catalogue, the delivery coach travels through Misspeak Valley. Maybe they lost a wheel there or something. It, it's a good place to start looking around anyway. Wow, there's got to be like 50 gnomes there. Hmm. Anyways, we gotta go get Brian's package, but it's in the same exact direction as a little five seal quest that we can pick up on the way. We can do both quests at once, in fact, that's what I'm going to do. And then, because we'll probably hit my 30 minute time limit by then, we'll break and do the final quest after the weekend. <sighs> Still the Logan Reaver flag. It's depressing. Just 
scoot on over here. Look, another quest giver. Please, you've got to help me. I'm so worried. It's my daughter, you see. I can't find her. That little scamp is always going off on her own, having adventures and whatnot. Always comes back after a while, though, but this time she's been missing for hours and hours. I'm frantic with worry. It's all her father's fault. He never stops talking about how there's gold to be found in the caves in Mist Peak Valley. I bet that's where she's gone. Please find her and bring her home, I beg you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Please bring her back safe and sound as soon as you can. Okay, anyways, we gotta go save this girl's daughter in addition to getting Brian's package. So... This is an interesting quest chain. Scoot on over. And enjoy another loading screen. Because, you know, we all love those loading screens. That's why the people who made Fable put so many of them in. And as you can see, there's a distinct lack of wolves here. So let's go through this area, and there's a dig spot here. Now keep in mind, after this, there will always be an ambush in this spot, just so you know whenever you pass through here. Ooh, summon creature potion. I'll take it. Nothing but that worthless oh, these guys are entertaining. Love it, guys. We get you, nothing for this if you stand back far enough, you get to listen to their entire spiel. There's no fee. No one ha- Here, are we to refrain from defending ourselves? Until Unfortunately, an I got too close. Employed us to do so? No. Oh, survival imperative transcends any question of causality. Let's get her. So, it's an ambush. Just start shooting or slicing or spelling or whatever you want to do to wipe these guys out. What I'm doing is flourishes on these guys because if I get a certain number of flourishes, flourish finishes, then my weapon will level up. That dog should be put down. <clears throat> and take care of this guy. I believe charge shots count too, but heh, obviously didn't need that. Ooh, it's a gargoyle. Must be a leftover from Fable 2. Anywho, before we travel up to give the gargoyle to Brian, which this is obviously Brian's package. We need to go in a different direction. And our doggy has discovered a dig spot. So we will find out what it is. Ooh, a pearl. Nice. Finding gems and other precious stones like that is always a nice thing. Because that's just a couple hundred gold right there. Oh, look. There's the wolves. One. Two. Three. Hmm. That's it? That's all you got? Okay. Nice little treasure chest. And it's an amethyst. Hi, wolves. One. Ooh! Yes, that's an interrupt that you can use sometimes. That's so very nice. Okay, there appears to be nothing in that area. So into the cave we go. Straight through a loading screen. Mm. In my off-camera wanderings, I'll probably visit this cave more than once, just trying to clear it out of stuff. 
Because there's more than way one way to get into this cave, and... There's lots of stuff in this cave. So it's worth multiple trips. Okay, never mind the fact that I'm apparently digging in solid stone. What do we get? Another amethyst. Alright. Okay. Zip on along and follow the screams of the girl. There we go. Yay, we found her. Okay, all you gotta do is hold her hand and escort her out while keeping her safe. Are you here to take me home? So if you want to hot foot it back and have her pretty much running after you, go right ahead. For some odd reason, this doesn't bother her at all. Oh look, enemies. The reason she's stuck in this place. And three. And come on, put it away. What the hell? Don't make me mad, or I'll That's what you. I wanted to do, but at least it put my. Hooray! Damn it! Stop it. Okay. Yay, she took my hand. We're gonna go down here. And I'm gonna open a treasure chest. Why? Because I can. And. We got clothing! Huh. Okay. Whatever. You pretty much gotta fight wolves the whole way out, so rushing along is actually somewhat in your best interest. These wolves just appear out of nowhere and seem to be intent on attacking you because, you know, their attacks are so freaking successful beforehand. Oh, there's a wolf. Thought you could get away. Oh, got him in the air. Yay! Nice. Okay. <sighs> Thanks to the combat aspects of this. Mommy said I shouldn't. I think I've already got changes. enough. Oh. Just from the combat aspects and the reward upcoming. Okay, I'm sorry, that was cute. <laughs> Anyways, with all this, I actually have enough to trigger the cutscene, but Next I'm not going to immediately. Brilliant. Help! What's that? Help! Oh, look, more wolves. And wipe them out. Make them war. Take out the wolvies. Thank you, pup. Ow. Okay, that works. You notice they'll never go after her. They'll go after you first. Which is convenient, I guess. You don't have to distract the wolves from trying to chomp on her. They will automatically go after the hero. For some reason. Yes. And they will oh, all fight to the death. Which is freaking weird. You'll never see wolves do this in real life. If you nail one or two, the rest of the pack will go the hell away. They figure out real quick they don't have the numer numerical superiority anymore. You could really shoot someone's ear off with that. Nice. Okay, here we I go. Guess. Let's run the hell up this mountainside. Are we there yet? Get back to Brightwall. It's another loading screen. It's another loading screen. It's another loading screen. Don't you love them now? <laughs> And let's get her back to her mom. 
Come on, kiddo. Let's go. Why am I not allowed to run right now? What the hell? Oh! Takes off for her mom. Saves me the trouble. Alright. My darling! My little darling! What a relief! I was beside myself! I can't thank you enough. I'm forever in your debt. That's awesome. Okay. One more quest turn in, and I should be good to go. But, of course, I try to do every quest in Brightwall because it gives me more guild seals. More guild seals means more stuff that I can unlock. Which is necessary. I have no doubt that the people of Brightwall will end up following you. Merely show them what you are capable of, and they cannot fail to become your supporters. Thank you, Jasper. Anyways, now that we have 40 guild seals, let's go unlock ranged. We're gonna need it. Now, I could unlock magic first, and then ranged, but I prefer to go in the order presented. Though there are times where I'll take ranged first, and then go melee, and then magic. Yay! Our hero weapons have leveled. They look even more badass. Wait, what? How the... Oh, forget it. Back to the loading screen. Loading, loading, loading. A loading, loading, loading. There we are, Brightwall Village again. Let's go talk to Brian. Drop off the last of the stuff. Let's go give Brian his package. Gather ten more, and then we can finish convincing Sabine. But we're going to gather more than 10. Wrong turn again. We're going to gather 30. Well, what right. could have happened to it? Maybe I should have bought the shipping insurance. You got it! Oh, this is brilliant! Brilliant! You see, Jonathan? I told you, didn't I? Oh, this is going to be amazing. This is going to be so mind-bogglingly amazing. People are going to say, right, this, this is mind bogglingly amazing put it in the place of honor would you sure i'll do that and right. now creepy man i'm going to stand way the hell over here Play area in pride of place nothing good Done can that. come of this Be sure that your garden ornaments are facing your gargoyle with unbroken line of sight mm -hmm. check face your gargoyle Stand confident, take a deep breath, and say in an authoritative voice, Oh. <clears throat> Gargolus Multipulus. Us. Okay. What go got? Lovely. Oh, no. Never leave home without a hat. Oh, no. Always look both ways before crossing a road. The gnomes have been gargalized. They're all alive. Start every day with a healthy breakfast. Oh, this is the greatest day of my <laughs> life! Wait till I tell my family. Oh, I forgot I stopped talking to them. Oh, who cares about them? This is mind-boggling! Great, amazing. um... You have fun with that, dude. 
I'm going to be on oh, the other God, side of the planet Gavin from now on. This is following in Brightwall. This should be wow. more than enough to convince in this little hamlet to send I aid to the dwellers. I, I believe Samuel awaits you at the town gates to express I that very sentiment. Yeah, we can go, but we're not gonna just yet because we've got one more quest in Brightwall, and then we can go talk to Sabine. Anyways, this is Man in the Black Hat, and I will see you next time for more Let's Play Fable 3. Yay, Silver Key! Later.